My name is Karen James, I'm a pigeon fancier and I'm here to tell you how to keep pigeons. The most important part of keeping pigeons is obviously the loft environment. This is my pigeon loft. It doesn't have to be this big or this elaborate. Any sort of dry and non-drafty shed will do. Now I'm going to take you into the pigeon loft and show you how we keep them inside. Inside the loft, the pigeons live in boxes. Each box has a cock and a hen that are paired together at the beginning of the racing season. And after they've been together about a week, the hen will lay two eggs, one six o'clock in the evening and one approximately 46 hours later. These eggs are incubated for 21 days and then the young catch. From the very beginning, the, both parents feed the young pigeons and they produce a milk in their crop which they regurgitate into the squeakers. Here's two baby pigeons in the nest. These hatched approximately 24 hours ago and as you can see from the beginning they're blind but their beaks are fully formed. Mum and Dad will feed these pigeons for approximately 25 days then they'll be fully grown and ready to be weaned off into their own section. This is a squeaker that's approximately two, two and a half weeks old, another week to ten days or so, and he'll be ready to leave his parents, leave the nest, and go into his own section. This is the young bird section of my loft, where the baby pigeons come once they've been weaned off from their parents. You can see the boxes are slightly smaller because these pigeons won't be breeding this year. They'll be trained, flown around the loft, and then raced. Obviously food and water is a big part of keeping racing pigeons. Pigeons like a routine and it's uh, recommended to feed them twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, and to change their water on a regular basis, at least daily, to ensure a clean, fresh supply for them. Another important aspect of keeping racing pigeons is keeping the birds and their loft environment clean and healthy. You need to scrape the floors and the boxes preferably twice a day and once a week I put out a bath with bath salts so that the pigeons can have a bath, clean their feathers and keep themselves healthy. So it's important to scrape the boxes every day. Um, in my pigeon loft I have an automated system with belts underneath the grills so then I just flick a switch and the conveyor belt takes all the pigeon poo away. So basically, the essentials of pigeon keeping, you need a loft divided into sections for the old and young birds. You need to feed and water the birds twice a day. And you need to scrape out the loft twice a day to keep the environment clean and healthy. And that's how to keep racing pigeons.